Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will address a question that some of you have asked me. What is the role of DevOps engineer in the first three months of their joining? This question can also be understood as what would a DevOps engineer do in the first three months of their joining? I will answer this question through my experience. So please watch it till the end. Now, first of all, before I start this video, I'll share you a very useful tip that I follow. That is, if I feel that the interview is going very well, I will make sure that by the end of the interview, I will ask the interviewer, what would be my role if I join your project and organization? Now, why do I do that? Because if I get selected in that particular job, then even before joining, I will have a very clear information of what I need to do. Now, let's say I'm in my notice period. So I'll have good one month or good two months of time before I join their project and organization so that I can go through the topics. Let's say I have some gaps in the process that they are working on or I have gaps in the tools that they are working on. So I will take this as an opportunity and before I join their organization, I can opt for any courses, I can watch any YouTube playlist and I can learn that particular topic. Along with this, I also make sure I read job description so many times so that I'm very clear that what is written in the job description. Read the job description, write down the notes of what interviewer told you at the end of the interview, what would be your role. Together, you can have a very clear picture of what you will do in that particular organization. Now, let's say you went through all of these things and you joined the organization. Now, in the first three months, what actually happens is the first one month would go for your onboarding, your induction. So there will be two types of onboardings and inductions. The first thing would be you will onboard and induct to that particular organization. Let's say you're joining Tata Consultancy Services, TCS. So first few days of your joining, what would happen is they will explain you about the organization. You know, what is the uh, different, what are the different websites, uh, whom to reach if you have any particular issue, right? How do you track your pay slips? All this information will be provided as part of your induction. That would be for the organization. But what is important for you is to understand the onboarding and induction part for the project. Now, this onboarding can be for 30 days, can be for 45 days, depending upon your organization. And during this time, they will assign you a mentor. In some companies, they call mentor. In some companies, they call you as buddy. I mean, not you, but the person who is training you. So for the first 30 days or 45 days, you will be assigned with a mentor. And this mentor will onboard you onto the project. That means they'll explain you like, you know, these are the services that we are going to work on or as a DevOps team, you will interact with this particular teams. And for this team, we are helping them with Terraform. For this team, we are helping them with Ansible. And who is your point of contact in that particular team? If there are any scripts that you have already written for that particular teams, that means if the DevOps team has already worked along with those teams. So this particular mentor will walk you through the scripts. This particular mentor will provide you the access to that repositories where the source code is stored, where your Terraform projects or your Ansible playbooks or your CICD pipelines are stored. So during this one month, you can go through this entire process. You can go through the art architectural diagrams of your uh, DevOps team, right? How, how they are implementing, what is your uh, Kubernetes uh, structure? If, if your Kubernetes is on uh, public cloud, right? What is the architecture of your Kubernetes cluster? So all of these things will be explained by your mentor. There will be some design docs. There will be a very good documentation and they will help you with that particular things. Let's say while going through these particular uh, documents, you have any questions. So this particular person will help you through that one month or 45 days. But this is a very crucial period. Of course, the period before you join the organization is also very crucial. Let's say some of you cleared the interview, but you know that in the org organization, they are expecting very good knowledge on Kubernetes. So before joining the organization, 
you can spend time in learning kubernetes but in the first 30 days to 45 days when you are assigned with a mentor make sure you use this particular period efficiently that means every day you have to go through the blogs go through the emails go through the chat history if your organization is in agile process they will use some tools like jira so go through the previous tickets or if they are using service now go through the previous incidents go through the previous uh, change requests and try to understand what your team is actually doing because your mentor might help you to some extent but beyond that it is your responsibility to go through all of this information and ask as many questions as possible because after this 30 days or 45 days you will not be assigned with that particular mentor now you can ask your questions but they would reply at their own pace if they are busy they might not reply you immediately but when you are assigned with a mentor it is their responsibility to reply you properly it is their responsibility to help you after that it is like you are one of the team members right now if they are busy you have to make sure that you learn things after that 30 to 45 days but during the first 30 to 45 days they will definitely help you right so of course you cannot you know ask a very basic level things uh, if you have some issues with the architecture or if you have some issues with the scripts and the code that is shared with you yes you can definitely ask you can ask you can set up continuous meetings uh, you know you can block their calendar the mentor that is assigned to you but basic level things because you will have less work in that 30 to 45 days you will not have uh, you will not be assigned with the tickets but probably you will have some work with respect to uh, getting some accesses onboarding to your organizational things right uh, you might be asked to uh, perform some basic level uh, documentation check that means they will provide you documentation uh, with the devops team what they have written and probably they will ask you to verify if everything is looking fine or not so this would be the 30 to 45 days and you should make proper use of it and what would happen after that after that you would be one of the team members right you will be slowly assigned with the task of course you will not be assigned with production critical or you will not be assigned with the customer critical tickets but slowly they will start assigning you the task that could be maintenance task there can be some bug in the existing uh, scripts that were written by the devops team they can ask you to go through it and fix some low priority bugs high priority bugs will be assigned as you progress uh, through your uh, job role or as you progress uh, you will spend some time like four months five months then they might assign you but initially this would be the thing that you will start working in the agile methodology because most of the companies these days are in agile they proper prop they follow proper scrum or kanban and during that phase you will be assigned with the tickets and that would be tracked when i say that would be tracked so your work would, would be seen by all the people in the project and if anyone in the management if they want to take a look at what you are doing they can definitely go through the jira board and they will understand what you are actually doing right so your task would start with low priority tickets maintenance activities but slowly you will be assigned with the task equal to your team members right so first three months it will be a slow period for you in that first 45 days would be induction mentor training you with respect to the project you are onboarding and the next 45 days would be you know slowly uh, getting started with simple tasks if you are working in uh, two week sprint then you would get proper three sprints if you're working with three week sprint then you will only get two weeks uh, sorry two sprints uh, to work on this low priority or maintenance things later you will be equal to the other team members and you will be assigned with the tasks right so this is how your first three months would look like and uh, nothing uh, beyond the job description or nothing beyond uh, what the person's explained you during the project will usually happen but sometimes now you might think that abhishek you have explained all of these things and in my case it has happened slightly different my interview went on something but you know uh, i am working on something else now this happens because in some of the organizations when they are recruiting you or when they are taking the interview they might have a vacant position for some reason the position might be closed the position might be on hold 
and because they have already released the offer letter for you they might put you in a different team now in such cases you cannot do much probably you can constantly follow up with your hr and you can check if you will be working in the same project or not but still hrs might not have that much information because it would be on the onboarding manager or your hiring manager but you know those are exceptional cases you should not be thinking about it so my suggestion would be whenever you are giving interviews take a clear notes of what that project would be talk to the interviewer learn from the interviewer as much as possible at the same time take thorough look at the job description and during that one month of your notice period or something you can focus on giving other interviews but at the same time if you have confidence that you will join this organization 50 to 60% confidence at least spend some time going through that particular job description preparation learn about the things that you are missing in that particular job description and after onboarding i have explained you what would happen so this is the video and these are the tips and tricks that i have for you and if you have any such questions please uh, let me know in the comment section and i'll be doing more such videos very constantly because i want every subscriber to not just get acquainted with the devops tools and technologies but to also get acquainted with what does a devops engineer do on a day to day basis and what are the challenges so please keep watching this series this would be very very useful take care everyone bye bye